much anything, because Mr. Tackpans has a unique perspective that is not really offered uh, anywhere else on the internet, and it's a shame that more people haven't right, seen his videos. Uh, when we went there over the weekend, we literally just stumbled across his uh, YouTube channel. You know, the average video had maybe five to ten views, and there were a few of them that had around, you know, 70 or, or 100 views. There was one that had about 1,500, but that was the, the peak, and he's had almost 1,500 videos uh, posted to his channel, so there's certainly no lack for, uh, for content at the Mr. Tackpan's YouTube channel. But he's here now because it's impossible to actually watch it all. Like, there's so much there. Uh, if you go to the, the Mr. Tackpan's YouTube channel, there, you know, a lot of these videos are 50 minutes, an hour and a half long. So it's impossible to consume it all. And you will go a little bit nuts trying to figure out what it is that he's saying. Yes. Because he's in, a, he's in a special place. And I have to say, Mr. Tackpan's, I appreciate you taking the time to share your perspective with us. As you've said, you're not here to convince anybody of uh, where you're coming from, but to just simply express what it is you're experiencing, right? Absolutely. What I was always hoping for is I only have two hands, and I only can do two or three things at once while I write or type and do a video at the same time. And I can't absolutely put it all down, so I figure if one day I can explain certain things properly, people can jump online and take part in it. This is not for me. This is for everybody and anybody. Whatever gets in there, it's, I, don't want, I don't care if my name's at the end. As long as the, the flow and the order is there, that's all I look for. Well, that's Just why I wanted to have you on tonight, was so people could take part in this. And uh, again, the phones are open at 855-450-FREE. If you have a question, there are some more Facebook questions here, uh, Mr. Tackmans. I wanted to share those with you. But be before we do that, you mentioned a a bigger problem. One of our Facebook questions previously was, you know, what are you going to do in 2013? You said you're going to continue on your path you're on now, but you mentioned a bigger problem in the future. What, what was that? Okay, this is something I never get into. I've never voted in my life because I've never been there for myself. I don't trust any of these governments. I don't believe in them. I, I just, that's our problem. Our problem is having something greater than us breaking every single law, and every time they break a law, they make a new law to there was no laws. The minute they put someone in jail, they made a law for it. They found someone else, and they kept making laws for anything they wanted. Now they just do whatever they want. I'm lucky. I'm in Canada right now. But we're, we're also in trouble in this area. I have to say have that you are electric. obviously a man who knows his audience, uh, and the, our audience is definitely uh, probably on board with that, uh, that portion of your message, at least. You're a Ron Paul guy, aren't you? Uh, yes, that he, when I saw him, I thought that was me. I cried. That that was when I saw that. That was my dream. He's my dream. Tell He's me. my dream. A man with two names. A man who can go <laughs> run and pull at the same time. A Ron Paul. Is that what it was? Ron yeah. Paul. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I play with words. Um, you asked me that question. I did the government. Um, we. You asked me another question about fifty-two eighty-one or seventy-two eighty-six. Maybe I did. Um, I, I don't um, know. No, I think Daryl did. Okay. Yeah. Did you want me to finish with that one? Uh, well, you said that 23 became 99, and I was just confused by the math on that. Okay, okay. what happens is two times, this is all simple math. Two times three is three, two plus three is five, it equals 11. Two times three, three is, is six. Two times three is six, right. two plus three is five. Yes. Okay. Which equals 56. And huh. you see, in my world, I'm already top to the moon with this. <laughs> now, you also said in another video that the moon is an iPod. How, can you explain that one? I, I believe the moon, the reason why it, it turns the color that it does is because it fills up with the humidity and water from the transmission of electrons or electricity. I believe that we're upside down being pulled by magnets right now. The actual ocean is in the sky and they're reserving that sky. The reason we have thunder and lightning is because of the shock waves that go through the two skies up above. Otherwise, where's the thunder and lightning going to come? Because there's no way the clouds are that thick or the, cl or the planes wouldn't be able to go through it. Have it you make ever been abducted by aliens? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on a second. I think so. 45 minutes every single night by the REM sleep. <laughs> More questions from Facebook for you, Mr. Tackpans. Uh, this, was a good, this was a good one from Chris Grajizic, who I believe, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I think he's actually in Canada as well. Uh, do you make any special predictions for December 21st? Because I don't know if you've heard, but a lot of people think that something's going to happen. 
something uh, more well, changing. Do go on that date. That the, the simple thing to just say on that date, if you're doing a search for something, is that that's the date that the whole world changes because one calendar disappears and a new calendar comes in. I don't know what that means, but that is the day of seven 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 for me. Seven years, seven months, seven and seven days in between the two moons. That's when I got sick to that day. And every mm -hmm. year, one year later from every from every year, something has happened to me. When you every think when year. you think that you've gotten sick, when when is the date that you believe you got sick? Was it the day that you were uh, visited by the apparition, or was it some other day? No, about two three weeks before. Uh -huh. I just started seeing everything. I was looking at the signs on the highway, and they were they. Were, Bigger, and they said something to me. I just didn't know what it was, and I was more awake and more alive. And then all of a sudden, I saw this. And once they started giving me those pills, it was terrible. It was just, just the worst thing in the world. One pill gave me 300. The other one gave me five times as much. I was seeing dead fish in the bottom of my, my bed. I, what the hell? I said, what, what is all these pills? And I went out of the hospital. They let me out. Not when I was well. They let me out when I was in depression sick. Oh, my. And depression, let me tell you one thing about depression. You don't want to go there. It is an ugly world, but I learned about it. You know what it is? It's getting caught between the two sides of your brain, not being able to make a decision. You're going left, touching everything twice and three times, and you can't go back to one side because the pills are pushing you to the other side. Wow. Brain four and brain six. Nemo Freeman asks on Facebook, he says, ask Mr. Tapans if he thinks whether or not numbers are only a construct of the human consciousness to understand and quantify the universe around them. Wow, that's a big question for me. I'm only going to answer it the way I understand it. Um, the Rubik's Cube, okay, is made for this world, if that's the question. Yes, Rubik's Cube is, is the whole, it's everything. It's absolutely everything, except the shape is wrong. But numbers is everything. Without a number, you can't have a coordinate. Without a coordinate, you can't pick up any coordination. If you're not picking up any coordination, you can't listen to any, any radio wavelengths, any computers, nets. There's nothing that would work, not even a car. Nothing can work without the net. This whole net, you wouldn't be able to breathe without the net. It would just fall down on top of you. I mean, go to Colorado, you see how you breathe there, then go up to a higher mountain, see you can barely breathe over there because you're cut off by the matrix, which is basically... What is the, the matrix? Um, the way I see it um, from the movie, it's just a whole lot of cross wires that are going 45 degree angles from one side all the way to the other side and coming from the other side, all the sides of the world, and they crisscross each other, creating diamonds and wolves. That's the way I call it. Okay, and you Everything. said that the Rubik's Cube is the wrong shape. What shape should it be? Well, we're a football. This world is a football. That's why I say there's no... There's a, that's the Middle Earth is a, not a court. It can't be a court. It wouldn't work because we're three times as long as we are high, in general speaking. I think so some of we us are, are, we, are on, we are on an angle... <laughs> We are on an angle. What happens with Rubik's Cube is you take a look at it. To go from one, you have to go down, you go forward, and then you go down, and then you go over, then you go down, and then you go over. That's the way we are. And then you go to the next step, and the next step, the next step. They have been building underneath us for the longest time. Ooh, ooh. The government, or whatever it is, whatever Galactica Federation, the Balkan Federation, whatever whatever Federation, whatever... whatever the reptilians. Set up, <laughs> Do you believe in the reptilians? You know what? Everything is doubled in this world and tripled. Everything is repeated for a reason, and every every word, Einstein, Darwin, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, uh, words in French and English, um, the way they keep transferring, how can I explain this? Um, okay, let's take the word mister. You, you look at the M, and you look at the R, and you put it together, you say mister. I look at the M, I go, M sounds like E-M to me, but in French, it says love. You know, one of the no, things I really it. enjoyed in your videos, Mr. Tacpans, uh, is when you talk about love. That's one of the times that I, that I feel like you're the most uh, understandable in your videos, because again, a lot of this is beyond me. But, uh, you know, when you talk about love, I get it. I feel like you, you know, you are really somebody who, uh, who appreciates that. Love and is the universal language. Again. Isn't it, though? Isn't it? Well, back to communication again. If the lines were not connected together, they would not be in love. 
By being in love, they can transmit. By them being able to come over to us, we can transmit. By our heart and our lungs coming together, it's all communication and connection. Your heart is like a, to me, I don't think it's in the brain. The brain is a radiator. Mr. Tacpans, much love to you. I really appreciate having you on the show here tonight. Folks should check out your blog, mrtacpans.blogspot.com. They can link over to your Facebook from there and your YouTube channel. Thanks for being with us. More coming up. This is Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon.